was telling you the vision, the distorted version of the world, brainwashing your thoughts. Every second, every minute you consumed made that world more powerful. The television only existed on a screen, as a perspective, as someone else's vision projected into your room. While you sat there and watched the program, you became motionless like a sheep, watching the shepherd as it dictated your thoughts. It was scripted and designed, so you became engineered to a world that wasn't shaped by you anymore. You were controlled by a synthetic program that operated you as a human. Surely we then must ask, did humans want to be fully conscious? Or did they want to become autonomous robots? Once you were shaped unconsciously under an emotional hypnosis, you could be triggered and tricked very easily. Once you were in their arena, they could mold you psychologically like the products that they had always viewed you as. The art of a magician is not just about deception. It's about the reality construct that supported the illusion and they played the trickery within its boundaries. Operating through the human brainwaves, the television manipulated the conscious and subconscious mind, allowing it to steer our lives anywhere it desired. Most were completely unconscious to and fell unknowingly into their pit. The vision people watched was nothing but a stage play with terrible actors, a puppet show, sometimes even a freak show. But humans like to spectate the danger, the fear and the conflict. By watching it on a box, it made them separate from the seductive action. Never a participant, always the docile consumer. Deviance and trickery constantly shifted us away from the moment. They didn't stop, but they didn't care either. They followed a dark consciousness, tricking most of us to believe it was our or for our benefit. No matter how much they programmed everyone and how many obedient humans willingly followed, they could not break the awakening that some humans were going through. They underestimated how powerful this movement would be, growing in number and with conviction by the day. It was only a matter of time before their world would be shaken. Realizing what path they have chosen is unobtainable. But when would they stop? When would they realize? You have wanted to know their vision because you have built walls in your mind, a prison with invisible bars. Those bars contain your fears, anxieties, and your dreams. Those walls hold your false disconnection your insecurities and your pain. You can remove those bars at any time you want. You can become the empowered being that you already are. Be aware of the teachings that suffering can bring. Maybe now you will stand up and claim what has been yours all along. Will you rise up from the darkness that once paralyzed you? Will you listen to your inner voice and make steps to create your own vision?